Hi, welcome to another StarCraft II weekly challenge or mutation solo. This time we are using Tychus and we are using the second talent or prestige, Lone Wolf. Lone Wolf makes Tychus and his individual outlaws have take 50% damage reduction and they do an extra 30 damage 30% extra damage per outlaw, but your outlaws cannot be close together. We are playing a map on the Vermilion problem, which is loosely based off the Devil's Playground from Wings of Liberty. And the way Tychus functions is his he and his other outlaws, his other hero units, come out of Joey Ray's bar every couple minutes and they kill things he's one of the easiest commanders to play if not the easiest anyway I'm building the gunslingers hideout to unlock these two guys if I want these guys I build the muscle armory as you see and to recruit these guys down here you re you build the fixer's safe house each of these tiers have their own talents this tier is just well balanced. This tier is really bulky but can only attack ground units. This comp, these down here are weak and fragile, but they have special abilities which can be really useful. The goal of this mission is to collect a bunch of xenon crystals around the map and drop them off here before the planet blows up. We have a couple challenges. The most noteworthy is slim pickings. Player worker units gather resources at a reduced rate, but resource pickups spawn throughout the map. That's what you see here. Um, the mineral fields and Vespine geysers are supposed to have like 5,000 of each a piece, but they only have 1,500, and the workers... The workers only bring back one mineral or one Vespine gas at a time. You can see the lone wolf buff here, better off alone. This also applies to the unit's abilities. So like Tychus, Tychus and his shredder grenade, his shredder grenade will do more damage. Um, Warhound here, his turrets also have damage reduction and do more damage. So this allows you to cover multiple zones on the map at once really easily and he can get unique gear upgrades from his individual buildings so yeah for a high price of minerals and a somewhat low Vespine gas cost and self-destruction. Enemy units and buildings explode when they die. So, yeah, that could be a problem. Fortunately, Lone Wolf, the Lone Wolf Prestige, does cut the damage done by self-destruction in half. So, we're good there. Um, you should be picked, if you're good at picking up minerals and Vespine, unlike me... You go out of your way to pick stuff up. Actually, that's what I'm doing here. The other is a Twister. Tornadoes move across the map, damaging units. It does not damage buildings. It only damages units. But, um... Yeah, that's annoying when you have to send an SCV or a drone to collect minerals. Or to collect the crystals. And they just get hit by a random tornado because they are not smart enough to path around the tornadoes. And yeah, you can see how strong Tychus is. Here I'm just building an eBay. Tychus is a commander I mentioned with Stukov that I don't usually bother with uh armor upgrades. I will with Tychus. Tychus um, armor, as you can see, it increases the life of his outlaws by 10% a pop. And when fully leveled up, he can go up to plus 5 
for weapons and armor. And I got this upgrade, the Thunderbolt missiles. T uh, Warhound and his turrets fire the anti-air missiles, which do a ton of damage against air units. You can see Tychus with his shredder grenade. Let's see how much damage. Yeah. Zealots got deleted. Here, I just send the SCVs to collect this. Fortunately, this twister got out of the way. Oh, here I'm not paying attention, and... Oh, okay, my dude lived. I'm not actually pushing, which I should be doing. I should push into here because until this little base here is cleared out, enemy attack waves will just spawn from there continuously. And that can be a problem. Here I'm getting the big red button upgrade for the Odin. The Odin is there basically just to delete an enemy base. See, Tychus just does not care about anything. He can face tank pretty much anything. Goodbye. Bye bye. So yeah, Tychus and Warhound could do all the work here. The other I could I can make more outlaws or recruit more outlaws, but they'll just be sitting somewhere doing nothing. They're there just to provide buffs for the outlaws on the field. The ones, or I should say, the ones that I actually use. I've never been happier. So, because I have Odin on cooldown, or off cooldown, I decide I'm just going to go over to this base and kill, drop a big red button here. Yep, just clear out all this garbage. Boom. And the Odin can just kill the hybrid dominator. I'm not worried about the attack wave. Sirius is there. Sirius can take care of everything. It's fine. No big deal. Sirius can just do this. All gone. Now here I'm trying to determine where this attack wave's coming in from. Uh, and in case you haven't noticed, from this point on, Amon will start sending start sending units to uh, defend the crystals. I have a love-hate relationship with this map, by the way. So Tychus is just doing his thing. And the attack wave is dead. I think I made a mistake here. I didn't kill this, did I? Nope. <laughs> I, I realized my mistake, too. And we're... And we've won. Uh, I won that engagement. Here. <laughs> I'm not even paying attention to the twisters. I'm just sort of... I'm paying more attention to my SCV, I think. Yeah, you, you can see the... The lava surge is reaching, yeah. The lava rises and you have to get to high ground safely. Does this make it? 
Yeah, that made it. Now this bonus is just a made-up thing. Just a molten salamander appears from the lava. Now I get the medevac platform for a medevac platform for a simple reason, and that is I want I want to have a uh, map presence. Oh, these phoenixes will lift up your SCVs if they see them, so... Shut up, Tychus. I'm working on it. <laughs> yeah, if you if you don't build a medevac platform by uh, uh, 15 minutes, Tychus bitches. Like, I don't want to hear it, Tychus. I'm affording more important things than, uh, I'm impor I'm buying more important things than medevac on this map. And what am I doing here? Oh, I'm moving the Odin down here to kill this stuff. So I can maybe get the crystal. If the crystal's on low ground and the lava rises, then the crystal is basically dead. Crooked Sam is very flimsy, even with Lone Wolf. So, he died. Rip. Warhound does not have a thing. I think here I'm just making sure that, uh... Okay, yeah, here I'm just making sure there's no enemies there. I forget if this SCV can make it. Come on, make it, make it, make it. Come on. Okay, he made it. Just in time. This... I sent Crooked Sam over here to kill the Salamander for the bonus. See how much damage it did. I like this tool tip. Couldn't quite get it in one go, but if I had if I had got it there in time, I would have been able to to do it. Let's see. Okay, yeah, Tychus just paths through this base, unfortunately. But I may as well kill some stuff. While I'm here, I guess. What? Oh, I think I just had him collect some resources. Oh, and I noticed my Odin's off cooldown, so launch a nuke. Boom. After the 10 minute mark, you can do that every four minutes, assuming you allocated mastery, your mastery points into that. Uh, the Terrazine. So now I have another answer for dealing with attack waves in Nux. He fires off a ultrasonic pulse, which, for all intents and purposes, is a Psy Storm. Let's not kid ourselves, it is totally Psy Storm. But with Lone Wolf buffs, so... We can see how quickly this will delete everything. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, this uh, crystal is just dead. There's not much I can do about that.
What did I buy? I bought this, which increases uh, ultrasonic pulse damage. Meanwhile, Sam can just go over here and kill a couple things here because crystals can spawn over here. What am I doing with you, Tychus? Good thing I had Lone Wolf, otherwise... Otherwise, I might not have lived. Tychus would not have lived. Anyway, let's look at Ultrasonic Pulse. Yeah, goodbye. Tychus... Okay, right here, I just did a trick. Okay, Sam died, because I wasn't paying attention. Tychus, I just lifted off the, with the medevac, healed him a bit, and... Oh, I don't have the thing off cooldown, but that's fine. I still killed them all. And just throw a uh, <laughs> throw a grenade, kill everything, kill the zealots at least. Okay, I went for. Attack speed mastery, I think. I see Odin's about ready to come off cooldown, I believe. Oh, and this is, uh, yeah. Ready for a wall. I just now noticed that, uh... Oh, an unannounced attack wave coming. Tychus needs to defend against that. Ah, oh, and I got the extra grenade damage gear. Yeah, boy. Oh, and, yeah, a tornado just spawn camped my fucking worker. I think here I just got really mad. Did I drop an Odin on, like, three carriers? I might have. I don't know what I... I actually don't know what I was thinking here. <laughs> yeah, I think I got pissed here. Because the tornado spawn camped the ramp. And <laughs> killed my worker. Oh well. But I'm not reviving Tychus, because the Odin cooldown... The Odin cooldown actually revives Tychus if he's dead. Unless he is uh, using the third prestige, which is... The perma-Odin prestige. What did I do here? Did I call the Odin here, or... Why did I do this? Yeah. All right, that's what I did, yeah. Okay. Did Valerian choose the wrong allies? <laughs> Call me a ghost. So, if you're... Once you get five outlaws, you cannot select any more outlaws, and what outlaws you should select depends on your your commander talent and what enemy comp you are against. Now, selecting Warhound is just... Selecting Warhound, which is this fellow, is just uni universally a good choice, no matter what. Not necessarily always the best choice for the first outlaw to bring out, but always a good option to have in your party. Also, yeah, I got pissed here. Fuck these guys. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, I just queued up a bunch of workers because I was getting pissed because I was losing them to random shit. And I noticed Warhound just... Wait, what do I do here? Oh yeah, I noticed that... I happen to notice that... Warhound is right next to the thing. Tychus can probably delete almost all this by with one grenade. Yep, all Void Ray's dead with one attack, with one grenade. That might be it. Let's speed this along a little bit, see if this is the end. How do y'all six? Come on, come on, Raging Gamer, get, uh, get Warhound out of the lava, would ya? Okay. Cool beans. Gr pay attention. Okay, cool. If you don't, if you're not careful, the SCV will just walk right into the lava with the crystal and get both of them killed. Oh, and I only got level, I barely got level 2 armor. But it doesn't matter, because Tychus just deletes things with Lone Wolf. I think all eyes are on the SCV right now. Let's see. I think so, actually. Yep. And that is the 20th crystal. I just F2. I just F2'd over here. And there we go. And that is more no money, more problems with Tychus. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave in the comments below, and I will see you guys next time.